thing that I'm, that I'm trying to get at is to take you guys to the edge of failure, right? I want to take you to the edge of, of being a, well, it's like you get on a weight machine, right? What do you do when you get on a weight machine? Does it do any good if you, if you just pump the light weight? If you do a lot of that, yeah. high rep. Definition. Yeah. High rep gives you, gives you, because uh, it gets you more rep. <laughs> you feel better, too. You feel better? Confidence is a thousand. Okay. All right. But, but if you want to, okay, but if you don't want to, if you don't want to get better, if you actually want to get stronger, what, what, what do you do? You do fewer reps and more weight, and you go till you fail, right? Unless you go till you'll fail, you don't actually add anything to it. You got to tear the muscles and let them repair. You're actually tearing. It's the, the the analogy is so close to tearing muscles and repairing them. You're actually ripping. Well, I don't know if you're actually ripping up neurons. I'd like to say you are, but you're ripping up neural pathways. In fact, when you're learning, do you know that the process of actually remembering something that they've that they've they've discovered this when you actually remember a memory. The way the brain works in terms of, of how the brain chemicals, acetylcholine, I think, is in this package. I'm not, I, I should know more. But when you're remembering something, you actually go through the process of forgetting it and then rebuilding it. Wow. So that when you go, and this is something that's, I, I heard about this in a show, a radio show. If you guys are interested in this kind of stuff, it's called Radio Lab. You ever heard of Radio Lab? <coughs> it's, a, it's a podcast, and it's really, really cool. And they talk a lot about, about uh, neurological stuff. Okay.